Now, when you watch our channels, you'll regularly see uh, us go into engineering companies in the UK that have purchased the Matsura MX330 uh, PC10 machines. Uh, and this company is no different. In fact, we're at MP Engineering UK Limited. They've now got four in just a matter of two years. Um, the purpose of this video is really to find out how intelligent the machines are from an operating perspective. Ben, um, I want to find out a little bit about, from your perspective as an operator and a programmer, how easy they are to use and how intelligent they are. Now let's start by talking about the fact that, how, how does the unmanned run work overnight? How do you go about selecting which pallets to, uh, to use? So um, there's, two, there's two managers. This one's the best one to see it clear. So that is your pallet manager and you can see here you've got your pallet numbers which is assigned to your pallet number on the table, uh, your schedule number, you can change these to run them in different orders, uh, you've also got a flag where you can run continuous so it will just run that pallet, it will take it out of the machine, bring it to your load station, load it up, ready it, it will take it straight back in and run that pallet again. You've got interrupt, which means it doesn't matter what's on the schedule, it will always run the interrupt pallet next when it's readied. And then you've got reserve, which is basically if you, if you load a job into a pallet and you want to hold it for the night, you can reserve it and it won't run that pallet. Okay, so if, if you've got 10 pallets, you're going to go home at, say, Hoppers 5, if you're lucky, maybe, uh, and you want, to, you want to run it through the night, and you want to run pallet 1 first, then pallet 6, then pallet 4, Can you, is that easy to do? Yes, basically, you just change the schedule numbers. So on here, you've got pallet 1, schedule 1, pallet 2, I can change that to schedule 6, and so on. So. Okay. And now, 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 the final point for me is, what if there's a problem? How clever is this machine and this solution? What happens if one of these, one of the tools break and you can't machine job number four because it uses that particular tool? Will it skip it and move on to something else? It depends how you set it up. I mean, we've got this set up as if a tool breaks, it stops the program. Uh, you can set it up to have a tool break. It takes that pallet out, brings the next one in, but it will only ever run up to the tool that's broke if it's using it. If it's not using it, it'll run your whole job. Okay, so basically, but there is also the opportunity to, for it to miss that job entirely and then go on to the ones that it knows it has the right tools for. Yes, there is a piece of software that will monitor your tool breaks and the intelligence will tell the machine what tools are on each pallet and it'll run a pallet that doesn't use the tool that's broke, basically. Okay, there you have it. How easy is it to program? We often talk about the machine and the, the benefits of the unmanned run, but what about from an operational perspective? There's just one uh, feature that Ben's told us all about, which should put anybody's mind at ease if they're worried about how they're going to run this machine overnight.